Michelle with Off Leash Canine Training. This is Brownie. He's here for our two-week board and train program. Uh, we're also doing the other two litter mates as well. Um, the issues the owners are having with them at home are just they're spastic, running around. They just can't really control them. The dad just wants to be able to be part of the family, be able to walk on our leash. He needs to. Um, they have a bunch of property, and they just want to be able to control them and have them be off leash, be able to run around, and not have to worry about them getting lost. Um, he actually has GPS collars for them just so he can track them down when they do run away. Um, so let me show you where we're at now. Brownie, come. Come. Brownie, come. Brownie, come. Come. Brownie, come. 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 Oh, Brownie, sit. 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 Brownie, sit. 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 Brownie, down. 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 Brownie, down. 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 Brownie, place. 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 All right, we'll look progress in the next two weeks.
Turn around, start healing towards me. You turn around. They're in, they're in proper position, so you just you turn around, face me, and. They are good. This is amazing. All right. And when you want to stop, you're gonna say stop, and then you'll stop, stop. walking. The B word. Hi guys, my name is Brian. This is Colt. This is Browning. Um, Michelle did uh, Colt and Browning for the last two weeks board and train. Prior to that, she had her other dog, which is Remington, for two weeks board and train. We picked him up two weeks ago. He's fantastic. Uh, we just came to pick up these two. Uh, they are actually very, very good. We seem that we have everything out of them that we want at this point in the game where they'll stay, they'll walk with us, they heal with us, they'll sit, don't place, don't listen to voice commands. Um, we could not come do any of that when we first got them here. Uh, they basically told us what they wanted to do. Uh, they don't do that now. We're ecstatic. Uh, we're out of dogs to train, though, for, for Michelle. So we'll have to go get another dog so she can do that one. But she's done a great job on these three dogs, uh, especially these two and Remington, which is at home. So thank you.